Hello everyone, February 27th, Lenten Reflection number 12. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for loving us. Thank you for providing for us. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for your grace, your mercy. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for abiding with us. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Thank you for your word. Thank you for just being you, God of all, sovereign. We worship, we exalt you, we magnify you. Thank you for meeting us around your word, through your word, in your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Lenten reflection for today, our scripture for today, Matthew 23, 1 through 12. Matthew 23, 1 through 12. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, the teachers of the law and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. So you must be careful to do everything they tell you. But do not do what they do, for they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy, cumbersome loads and put them on other people's shoulders, but they themselves are not willing to lift a finger to move them. Everything they do is done for people to see. They make their phylacteries wide and the tassels on their garments long. They love the place of honor at banquets and the most important seats in the synagogues. They love to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and to be called rabbi by others. But you are not to be called rabbi for you have one teacher and you are all brothers. And do not call anyone on earth father, for you have one father, and he is in heaven. Nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be your servant, for those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Matthew 23, 1 through 12. Just like yesterday's reflection. There we have it. It's very simple. It's very plain to understand. As plain as day, Jesus said to his disciples then, he continues to say to us through the powerful presence of his spirit, the spirit of God within us, the religious elite of the day, they do not practice what they preach, do not be like them. They put high, unbiblical, unscriptural, religious expectations on those who sit under their teaching, yet they do not live up to those expectations themselves. Do not be like them. The religious elite of the day, they do, not, they do what they do so that others can see how spiritual they are. Do not be like them. They love and crave honor and respect from others. Do not be like them. Here's what you do. Here's what you are to be concerned about. Have the heart and mind of a servant. That's great. Be humble and you will be exalted. That's great. <laughs> Just like yesterday, as part, part of our Lenten reflection, I want to encourage us all to Go back and revisit these verses at some point today. The week, Lenten week, whole 40 days, Holy Week. Revisit these verses today. Revisit their principles. Revisit the teaching. May the Holy Spirit empower you. May He empower me to live out the principles that we're learning. Well, thanks for joining me today. Be encouraged and be an encouragement to someone. Extend grace and mercy, and it will be returned to you. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much 
for these principles of Christian living. Lord, we often fail you. We often miss the mark when it comes to the principles we learned yesterday and the principles we learned today. But Father, we know that your grace extends to us. It's not about checking boxes. It's not about being seen and living up to unscriptural, unspiritual, unbiblical expectations. But Father, we do pray that you help us to be people of the Word. People who live by the principles that we're learning together. May you increase, may we decrease. Use us today for your glory. May all we say, may all we do be for you, your recognition, not ours. May we be humble before you. May we love like Jesus. May we serve like Jesus. Until we die, use us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I love you. Y'all have a great rest of your Tuesday. And I look forward to seeing some of you for Bible study on Wednesday night. If you haven't joined us yet, please think about it. Pick up a book at the church and join us as we look at and, and experience the survival kit to see if it's something that we feel led of the Lord to do um, through our church. Well, I love you again. Have a great day.